Looking for a way to get healthy? The Chef You and I program has the answer. Catherine Raker and chefs from around the nation will teach even the most inexperienced how to cook. Come into their kitchen and watch them take ordinary foods with loads of calories and fat and turn those foods into healthier dishes. You will be the first to get tips and ideas on foods that are easy to prepare. Now let's join Catherine and today's chef and learn how to make today's recipes. Hi, this is Catherine Raker of The Chef You and I. I want to welcome you to our show today. We have with us my favorite chef, Marie Dunaway, who is from the Philippines. And she loves to cook, don't you? Yeah. You're a party girl, aren't you? Yeah, especially if it's not my party. <laughs> yes, it's not your party. But, you know, I love when you come because you bring such exotic foods. I mean, I'm used to them, but a lot of people are not. Mm -hmm. So what are we cooking today that is scrumptious? Uh, well, uh, I got the usual appetizer, right? which is the uh, mango salsa. Then for our main entree would be the beef bone marrow soup and with rice. For dessert, we have the coconut pandan salad. And Ooh. then uh, for refreshment, we have... Um, Jello with ice cream? No, not yet. We have the mango shake. The mango shake. The mango shake. I'm using mangoes, a lot of mangoes today. And I see that the mangoes are kind of green. Are they supposed to be? They should be greener than that. Why? Well, we do have a popular um, appetizer back home where we pick the mangoes while it's still green, which means it's not ripe yet. We pick it off the tree, right. and that same day we peel it and cut it in spears and then dip it in shrimp paste. But it's so difficult to find... Um, Green, green mangoes, mangoes. In, uh, in where we live right now, Cincinnati, because of the way they ship them from overseas or from, right. from the uh, East Coast or West Coast, they ripen right away. Wow. I mean, you, if you, even if you try putting it in the fridge, it would still st start green. So that's as green as I could get right now. And okay. I just bought them yesterday. Wow. And that's, yeah. that's amazing. You know, um, and you know what is it almost going to be a shortage this year is avocado. Oh, well, that's yeah, too bad. I guess it's getting popular now. Well, no it's, not, no, it's not that. It's actually because of all the rain we've had this year mm -hmm. and because of all the weather issues, they just aren't doing as well as they usually do. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why, but that's what happened. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, what's the first dish we're going to make today? Well, the first thing, um, let's do the, um, the easiest one. And that's what? That would be the mango salsa. Okay, let's so do the mango if you're salsa. So if you, if you get your mangoes and they happen to be ripe, well, well, might as well make salsa out of it. So unlike the usual salsa where, where you use um, tomatoes, just a bunch of tomatoes and onions and other uh, spices like cilantro, we could add mango to oh, it. Oh, I have cilantro. Yes. Would yeah. you like cilantro? Yeah. Oh, good. And I discovered, I, I figured out that um, I could make a mango salsa because sometimes I would be at home and I don't want to eat sweet mangoes. I want to eat them sour. So that's what I'm right. going to make. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make the mango salsa and we're going to take a little break because I have to get some other ingredients mm -hmm. for us. Okay. Yeah. We'll be right back. We're back on The Chef, You and I. And guess what, Maria? We have everything we need to mm -hmm. do, right? Yeah. So you're going to do the mango. I'm going to do the scallions, right? Okay. And then the cilantro mm -hmm. and the tomatoes to go into the salsa that we're making, right? Right. And then simple salt and pepper and vinegar. Oh. Okay. So let's do this. Okay. So I'll cut these up real fine. Is that what you want? Yes. Okay. You know, do you eat these all the time? No, not all the time. I just um, started eating it um, not, not too long ago when I came back from Key West and I was trying to reminisce our last vacation by making um, salsa. And mm -hmm. um, I tried to copy the one that we saw in the flea market uh, mm -hmm. when we were in Key West. And I saw how they were making s um, salsa out of mangoes. And I said, well, that's, that's neat. Because in the Philippines, we use mangoes for dessert. Everything. Uh, for just yeah. dessert? Well, dessert and also as, um, as, um, as a spicy, salty dip. But yeah. not as um, salsa. Right. Okay. I, you know, they even have watermelon salsa. Yeah, I... I I thought I saw that in the market the other actually, day. Actually, Jungle Gems here does a watermelon salsa themselves. Mm, okay. And they usually publish it, right? Mm -hmm. But you know what I'm making? You're going to love this. 
Do you like limoncello? Yeah. I make limoncello, and I just made a new batch. And it's made with vodka and lemons, and it's so simple. Wow, vodka. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm telling you, it's fermenting right now. Mm -hmm. So everybody's got their order in for it. They love it. For Don't ask me why. So now I'm going to do what? You're going to show me how to do this again because it's been so long ago that you showed yeah. me. So what do we do? You go up here, right? Yeah, and just cut around the bone. Like that? As close as the, to the bone as you could, like what I did earlier. And mm -hmm. actually, I could even oh, you take out gone. some more of the flesh. Yeah, I know. Really I'm, that, um, I'm seeing oh, that. Oh, it's slippery, though. <laughs> it's very slippery. Yeah. Well, and got sharp I'm doing the here, best either. I can, girl. Right. So here's these two. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give these to you, and I'll do the cilantro. Right. Is that all right? Yep. Okay. And then um, here's more of this. This. Oh, well, we could discard that, or if you want to um, chip, chip away the flesh I'll, from I'll the side. Do you want me to take this off, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then um, you could use a spoon, or you could just scoop away the flesh with a knife. Mm-hmm. And it would be easier to uh, scoop it out if you cut it and you score it like, yeah. in s several squares, and then you invert it like this. Yeah, but we're just, you just need the flesh, right? Yeah, and then, you know, some people, they would go ahead and eat it like this. Yeah, it's so delicious. But, but of course, I'm not going to do that because we're making salsa. We're not eating it as a, as a fruit. Right. <laughs> but anyway, I like mangoes because... I love them. Um, even though it's got very high sugar content, it's so rich in vitamin A and vitamin C. Oh, it is. C, and, and you're a nurse, and so you, you love... I love fruit. Yeah. And I think that if you eat fruit right, you can, you don't gain weight, you lose weight yeah. if you eat it properly, right? Yeah. And so. one way to motivate you to eat fruit more, aside from buying it right. and eating it right away and having the time to buy it while it's still fresh is eat mm -hmm. it in a certain way that it won't, uh, it will fill you up right away. Right. That's why I'd like, I'd rather eat fruit as is, not right. in a blender. Right. Now but if you have too much fruit and they're getting ripe, you got to do something about it. You either put it in a blender or bake it. Right. Now, <laughs> let me ask you a question. You want this chopped up real fine? Yeah, chop okay. it up real fine. Okay. I'd, I'd like that. to make it as colorful as I could. And um, making, um, eating mangoes, it always reminds me of uh, my childhood when mm -hmm. we always go to my dad's um, farm and he, he has some grove of mangoes really lots and lots of mangoes every may they would we would have a big harvest me and my brother and sister and my cousins we would climb up the trees and help the workers picking really? up mangoes oh that's so fun yeah we saw how they get smoke um they get bag and then at by the end of uh, the season summer yeah. season which is around may uh-huh they would we would harvest them all and we would bring it to the market and sell it, and some we bring back home to Manila. Ooh, wow. Which is like a 22-hour a boat ride. So really? <laughs> I know. So, But if you fly in a plane, it's just one hour. Yeah. But anyway, mangoes is the national fruit oh. of the Philippines. Oh, that's Because good. it's the most popular one. And okay, so I did this, right? Now uh, yeah, and this mango is so, um, it's not very mushy. I do like it. Do you want me it. to put it in there? Yeah. Yet? Um, let's do that let's last. Wait. Yeah, let's okay. go ahead and cut whatever. The tomatoes? Could, oh, yeah, how the big tomatoes. do you want the tomatoes? Yeah, um, like this? That's perfect, yeah. I just want it like bite size. Oh, good. And I prefer this kind of tomatoes because they're... Um, they're easier to work with, yeah, actually. Yeah, they're less slushy, too. Yeah, they are. Yeah. You know, I, I really love fresh vegetables and fruits. And, you know, um, I... I'm doing a lot of stuff with mangoes. I love star fruit, too. Oh, All yeah. the fruits from Asia are just awesome. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had chili crabs and pepper crabs from what, Sri Lanka? What kind of crabs are they? Oh, they're the largest crabs that you can... They're that big. Oh, okay. Not that kind of crab. No, <laughs> okay. no seriously. They're that big. And I they're like, so like delicious. Yeah. And I think Jungle Jims might bring them in. I'm not sure, but I'm going to ask him. Yeah. Because they are delicious. And they usually, in Singapore, they do them down on the, um, the, the you know, like the beach area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and you don't freshly wear. Freshly caught. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. And you don't wear good clothes. You wear mm -hmm. clothes that can get dirty. Doesn't right, matter. Right. Because pepper crabs are really, you, you use your hands to do all pepper of that. Pepper crabs, you mean uh, seasoned actually, with pepper? Yeah, seasoned with, you know, like ground pepper. I mean, okay. real, you know, fresh pepper, right? 
Mm -hmm. And then uh, chili crabs or chili sauce, they're the special kind of chili sauce on, on the crabs that you dip everything into, or they're cooked like that. So you boil those crabs. Oh in, my gosh, um, are they special. good? Oh, they're the delicious, most delicious crab you've ever had. I like the, um, the, the shell part. You like the what? Shelf life. The shell part. Oh, the shell part. We need to take a short break, uh, and we'll come back after you chop that up, and okay. with Catherine Raker on the chef, you and I, and Maria Dunaway. We'll be right back. We're back on the chef, you and I, and Maria, we got everything chopped up, right? Yeah. So now this is the fun part. Do I put this in first? Yeah, ready to toss them all together. All right. Got everything almost. One. Now, don't you love these? Mm hmm <laughs> I love cilantro. Yeah. It's so good. Puts the Thai touch into this Filipino oh, dish. When I first Ooh. tried cilantro, I went crazy with it. Yeah. I cobra. just love I like it on soup. I like yeah. it on salad. I like it on everything. Do you know, I make a hot salad with cilantro. Mm -hmm. My husband is like an Asian salad. Mm hmm and everything's hot in it. Mm -hmm. He can't, you know, he's not a big beef eater, but guess what? Once in a while he does. So now you want something to, to do this with. Hold on, girl. And we have green ones. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know you have something like that. Okay, <laughs> so do you, now what are you gonna put on top of this? Um, well, oh yeah, well, if like you're conservative enough, you could use the usual salt and pepper mm, all that jazz yeah oh look i want the camera to get this after you do um mm -hmm. and we're gonna plate it can we plate it yeah put it on something i have yeah. a plate for you and what i do with it oh there it is and then we can put this on this plate and try it what mm -hmm. do you think mm -hmm. okay so let's do this uh, you could go ahead and season it with your favorite um salt and pepper kind of thing but uh -huh. i found this it's got everything huh everything on it I think it's just the coloring, but it says it's got black and white and right. purple and green peppercorns, which is really cool. And you ground it, and it's got a different colors to it. Right. And then, of course, there's no salt. I don't know if you like salt. I don't put too much salt. You don't use a lot of salt. Neither uh, do I. I like this. This is from camping, but uh, yeah. we haven't camped for a while, so I'm going to use this up. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. And then what? Well, and the that's vinegar? it. Well, oh yeah, yeah, the vinegar. I mean, it's up to you if you want to use vinegar, but I brought the uh, the spike spice vinegar kind that we have back home. I got right. it at Jungle Gym. Right. It's got different kinds of peppers underneath, mm -hmm. but oh, hot pepper, and this garlic. still vinegar on. Oh yeah, garlic. So we could put that on, on my yours. Plate, on my plate. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it. Actually, I'm gonna go get a plate okay. for you and okay. me, uh -huh. or I'm gonna have our producer do that, and then we will try it with and without it. Right. Because I do have some rice vinegar that you could use. Mm, rice vinegar, yeah. That's the um, that's the plain that's one. That's right. It's and we have that in the closet. You know, um, how often do you make? How often? That's your plate, and here's my plate. So you let's put. Smell it. Yeah, I do okay. smell it. I'm yeah. gonna do this. I'm yeah. gonna do the, a little bit of this because we want to save it for some of the mm -hmm. people that are right. And we could make more. We we, yeah. we got all these we mangoes. Did. I brought so ten mangoes. I know you brought a lot of mangoes. Oh, so. I see. Okay, okay, rice vinegar. So this so would be your vinegar. That would be. So your you take yours. Let me try this. Okay. And I'm scooping I mine absolutely out. love. Um, to try new things, and you know, this is really this is really healthy for you. Yep. Um, I how many would you use for um, four people? You know, I could make this for an event that I'm doing. Yeah, get those mangoes. Yeah, get those one mangoes. mango per person. So let's try this and see what you think. Okay. Okay. Here's a little oh. fork. Here's my little fork. Here's right. My little dash. I'm gonna try this. Did you didn't put the vinegar yet? I did. Oh, you did. I didn't. It's see delicious. It. I didn't see it. Really? Serious? It's I love it. Spice vinegar. I mean, it's got a really nice taste to it. It's got almost, when you put the vinegar on it, it gets sweet. Yeah. Well, right. you got the sweet vinegar. It's kind of sweet, the rice vinegar. Mm -hmm. Mine is spicy. That's great. Mm. I really, really like this. This would really perk, your, perk up your appetite. Mm -hmm. And I just want to mention that this is a very mild version of making salsa back home. Mm -hmm. If this mango was any, if, if it's more raw, right. more green, you don't need all that spices. You just We just go with this. And what's that? 
This is a shrimp base. So you want a little tiny spoon? Yeah. Let's do it's this. It's sauteed shrimp base, and instead of um, sauteing the raw kind, which is still pink, you uh -huh. could just buy a jar that's already sauteed. Wow, that's a it, lot. Yeah. And it's not really as spicy as the, uh, the spicy chili oil that you buy from Thai restaurants or the one right. you order from the Thai res right. restaurants. I would say the, uh, the odor might, might be too strong or scary right. for a foreigner. Right. Let but for that. us, yeah. it's the actually, spice of it's, life. It actually <laughs> smells wonderful. Does it have know. garlic in it? Hold on. Check it out. Mm, I'm wearing bifocals, but I'm still taking off my glasses. Oh, mm. uh, yeah. Sorry An about MSG, that. which is not as bad as garlic for right. you. Well, yeah. it's G? MSG. Oh, MSG I can deal with. Yeah, let MSG is uh, not bad as let long me, as you know, let me try, like let me everything try else. That. Let me try Moderation. that. Let me try a little of that. Yeah. And tell you what I think. Mm -hmm. mm. Right. Love it. Yeah. We all have this kind of jar in our fridge. That's good. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, that's the reason why I love Asian food, mm -hmm. because it's so delectable. Mm -hmm. Now, if you were doing this and you wanted to use it as salsa, you could use it on a cracker, too, couldn't you? Yeah, like and just while waiting for your friend to finish well, cooking the main entree, right. you're early for the so party. So you can do this. You could, right. yeah, do this while waiting for the party to start. Right. These are really good, and we're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back on The Chef You and I. We're back on The Chef You and I, and what is this, Maria? It's a bunch of mangoes. <laughs> yeah, it's a bunch of mangoes. <laughs> Different so. colored knives. Right. So we're, we're cutting we're all the mangoes up. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to scoop the pulp out of yeah. what you call the cheek. Yeah. We call this the cheek. Because it, you know, it looks like it a looks cheek. Because it looks like a cheek, right? Yeah. Good. <laughs> and we're going to let our guests try these shakes because they're really, really good. And we're using almond milk this time, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You could use any kind of milk you want. Um, we, we traditionally use evaporated milk. Mm-hmm. We stock them by the cans in our basement. You do? Yeah, yeah. It's like, uh, it's for everything. Coffee creamer, dessert, or... Yeah, we can't I put too many that, more yeah. in here. We got to make one shake at a yeah. time here. So yeah, let's we do have that. to make room for our, the milk the and the ice. ice. Okay, and so let me do this. Let me go get some ice. Okay. I'm going to use some crushed. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm going to scoop out more flesh out of the mangoes. Okay, that should be enough, Maria, because you don't want it to, you don't want it to be watery. And, we're gonna, and what we're going to do is we're, we're actually, I have some mm -hmm. wonderful mangoes that are already mm -hmm. peeled and everything, and I'm going to just use a little bit of the juice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. I okay. Mean, I don't want it too You don't want it to sweet. be too sweet. Yeah. And then I'm using almond, vanilla, yeah, that's almond very milk. very healthy. Only 40 calories, yeah. right? Right, per serving. Yeah, so is that enough? Yeah, it's like a serving. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on there. And I do shakes every day. Mm. I do protein shakes and healthy shakes. Mm -hmm. So let's move the bag well over. It's good to and drink protein shakes. We're going to put this on. And you put it on puree. Puree. Or you could have it liquefied well, if you want. Let me put this over here. Mm -hmm. Did you have the sugar in yet? Or the juice is already sweet, right? The, ju the juice is already sweet. Yeah, or you could add and, more sugar if you want. And you can add more sugar if you want. Or you could use Splenda. Mm -hmm. A lot of people use Splenda mm -hmm. or whatever. Right. But now we put it into my wonderful Nutribowl. I have to tell you, I, I use this every single day. Uh -huh. And it's great because, watch. Mm -hmm. really have it only stop. takes a minute. Not even that. And it's done. Oh, good. You ready to so, try it? So rich. Oh, wow. Let's try this. Yeah. If Let's, it was a raw mango, it would be a little green. Oh, it would be green. But yeah. look at how beautiful that is. And and we are going to take a picture of this because it's so pretty. Woo. That's one. Mm -hmm. And this is two. Wow. That's beautiful. That's actually, that makes two shakes. Mm -hmm. So, and then, where's your straw? No. Let's put these straws in. Oh, there. Right? Mm -hmm. Look at how pretty that is. And you could put a cherry on top. Yeah, or a slice a of... A slice of... Big slice of mango. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. So, right. we're going to take a short break and take a, uh, a break for a second, and we'll come right back. Okay. And we'll be drinking those, so don't, eat, don't drink them yet. Mm okay, you need a wider straw. 
My yeah, sleep. we got it. It's okay. fine. All right. We'll be right back. Okay. We're back on the chef, you and I, and Maria, I want to try this right now. I'll Mine is different you from think. yours, though. This is a wonderful what shake? Mango shake. Mango shake. Uh, yours with the almond milk. I have almond milk ice and a little bit of, of that preserved uh, mango. That mango juice yeah. with mine, and I'll let you know what I think. That is delicious. It's a little tart. That's what it, it's a little tart, but you that's know what? It's what? supposed to be, yeah, because the mango's a little bit, um, right. it's not overripe. I like that. Mine has condensed milk. So it's sweeter. Should be. So what do you think? Nice and tart. Yeah, this is really mm. nice and tart, and this is really it, good for you. It blends with the sweet. Night. Mm. You know, mm. well, here's here's the thing about it. You know, you want something that you want to start, maybe you want to start your day with this. It's full of vitamin C, yeah. Yeah, it it's really is. And if you don't, if you're not an orange juice drinker, this is great. Mm hmm Yes. And so, on that note, we're going to go to our next recipe. So we're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back on the Chef You and I with Maria Dunaway and myself. We're back on the Chef You and I, and I think we're going to make the main entree, aren't we? Yes, yes. This is a delicacy, actually. Why is it a delicacy? Because not everybody cooks with bone marrow. I think bone marrow is really good for you, right? right? Yeah, lots of protein. Got and a little cholesterol, but, you know, you need protein. And, mm -hmm. you know, here's the and thing. And iron. Here's the thing. I grew up on this. <laughs> My mom was, um, she always made oxtail soup, and she made... Uh, beef marrow soup, and she did all kinds of cool oh, stuff. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, she did. Yeah. How does she get them? Because they usually um, not not sell them. You remember as is. You remember, know? back then they did that all the time. They used everything. Everything. Because during the war and after the war, they used every scrap that they could. Okay. okay? So let's tell them the recipe. So I'm going to go ahead. Okay? okay. The main thing. The main thing is two beef bones. Okay. Sometimes they call them beef soup bones, or that's how they sell them. You could go to the meat section of your grocery store and see if they have this. Mm -hmm. And I got lucky yesterday when I went to our uh, favorite uh, grocery. They have this. Right. Or you could ask the butcher at the deli, like, hey, call me when you got some. Right. So, <laughs> or one pound of beef shank with meat, yeah. one quartered uh, Vidalia onion, which is right here, mm -hmm. right? Or if you want the other kind of onion, the sweet one. Yeah. Or you could use any kind of onions, but I like to use white because right. this is going to be a clear soup. Right. Three cloves of garlic. Mm hmm. One, and yeah, course, right there. So, you need course, three yeah. tons and of lots garlic. Lots of leftovers if you want right. more garlic on it. Right. All right. And you're going to need three teaspoon or you're going to need one teaspoon of black peppercorns right right we or, do or more or yeah. well we have the black peppercorns but this right. one comes in a grinder right wait a minute we have some right there are those the same it's smaller but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It, we it, can use whatever you, you want to use. You know what? You're gonna scoop it out or anyway. You're gonna strain the. You're gonna strain the peppercorns, right? The the juice, right? And then we're gonna use two tablespoons of fish sauce okay, or, or patties, right? Or patties. Patties. Actually, it depends on how salty you want it. This is very salty. That's very. But you like salty? Right? Uh, not lately, but you know what? When I was doing the the right. dry run of this recipe. Right. It's lacking that zinc to it that I'm used to. But when I added a this, I said, oh, yeah, that's how it's supposed to taste like. Right, so right. this is the magic thing. And then you <laughs> wouldn't have to put salt if you didn't want to. No, you could put soy sauce or, or you could put uh, another kind of seasoning uh, if you want it. Just right. let, with a little lemon on it. Right. And then two corn cobs, which yes. we have. Yes. And that's actually a variation that I noticed when I came here. People are starting to put corn in the cob in this kind of recipe we never do that when my mom was doing when i was growing up i never up. heard of it before i know but they started putting it on and you know what i like the color so yeah let's keep now, it now this is a pear squash i've never seen one well we used it before if you don't remember we um, probably it's it's like um it's right. it's um uh, it's a good color but it's not just that it it reminds you of a potato but it's a right. vegetable that's a would, vegetable and it's a, in from the gourd family this that's one beautiful. Oh, look at this one this that's one this gorgeous one, you can even see the pit or the seed in it right yeah but you're supposed to peel it and right cut it in cubes, cubes. Mm -hmm. a bunch of bok choy 
Yes. Baby and or big. Leaves yeah. separated. You did that, right? Yeah, well, most of them. And I don't like the stalk. No, the stalk is bitter. Yeah, so I right. just get it for the leaves, and right. they're huge, you know. This and is then, a big then, variety and of And then Napa choy. cabbage. Yes, and I... Or you could have the regular cabbage. Right. But this is a Chinese um, cabbage. cabbage or it's really chai. good. Yeah. And in stir fry, I use that in stir fry all the time. Right. Right. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to boil the bone marrow bones and beef shank in a pressure cooker, which we have right here. Right. Or you could do it. In, in a, a regular, in a regular pan, if you don't have a pressure like cooker, like this, right, for about two and a half hours, right, three hours, yeah. And if you don't have time, like I did, um, I want to use a pressure cooker. If okay. you have it, use it. That's right. And they have <laughs> lots of them out there today. They even have electric ones. Did you know that? No, this I mean really. Oh, new you ones. just plug it in. I yeah. think I've seen it, but I've had mm -hmm. this for years, and I never really use it that much. And I started to realize, you know what? I could save my cutting time in half by using a pressure cooker. Right. Let's do that. So right. the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put that beef shank in there, right? Yeah. Just pour it in. Right. And um, just um, regular water for now. Right. So we'll use this. Okay. Use here. Want me to do it? Here Actually. What? With the pressure cooker, let's pretend that you just got home and you got two hours to prepare for dinner. Right. Use that pressure cooker. Right. But if you got time and you want to use a regular... Right. Um, right. I'm going to wash my hands here. Regular pot. You right. might want to boil the water first. And then when it starts boiling, that's when you put the meat. Right. And I, you know, when I make soup, when I make this kind of soup all the time, I give myself three or four hours because I don't have a pressure cooker, mm, you know, and yeah. you want to get that meat really tender, but go ahead. And then put your favorite spices on it. All right. And you don't want to make it too dark. So I wouldn't even put soy sauce on it. Right. And then the pepper, the pepper corn is in there. Right. Or pepper or then you could put a little salt if right. you want. And well, if you want, but I'm going to put a little bit. Let's pretend I'm putting one. Okay. Do you okay. want me to cut the onion up? Oh, yeah, you could, um, Here, you quartered them. Quartered it? Because you're not going to okay. keep the onion. You're just going to use it for the flavor. Oh, okay. So then I'm going to press the garlic and peel it. And again, this garlic is all going to be strained out. Right. We're all doing this for the flavoring. Right. Do you use that, um, what? Uh, like, um, I it's use like a bag of seasoning that you drop yeah, in when you cook right. crabs. I don't yeah. know if you use it, but my husband uses that. I like to use that too sometimes because it gives such great flavor to everything. Yeah, right? Like they call it the and crab I use, boil. Actually, I use I bay like leaf. This. I use bay leaf in oh. my soup. Oh, I use bay leaf on certain Filipino dishes. Right. Mm -hmm. Like uh, adobo. Uh -huh. Have you had adobo? Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, adobo and, right. um, and pork belly. Oh, pork, pork bellies are wonderful. Yeah, pork belly is... We grew up with up. pork bellies. Do you use a pressure cooker to boil them? Because um, I boil them first. No, because I don't have a pressure cooker. Okay, that's fine. you got more time. Yeah, I have more time. <laughs> okay. No, not really, but my <laughs> office is here, so it makes it easy. Okay. You know, I don't have to go out there anywhere unless I have an appointment or something, or I have to go down to the station. Okay. So now you put all those in. All right. Now, are we... We're going to put that pear in or not? No, not yet. This is going to go last. Once, okay. Um, well, you want to tenderize the meat. So you don't want to fill up the water, uh, the, the pressure cooker with too much water because it's going to boil out or, you know, pop out. Okay, it's so what's the next cooking. thing you do? Cover it and then put it on the stove and put it on All heat. Right. So I've never used a pressure cooker before, so do, you tell me what to do here. Right, just be very ca careful. You do it. You do when it. you put it in, you just uh, wiggle with it until it locks. Oh, that locks That's it? That's how you lock it. Okay, now we're going to put this on the stove, right? Yeah, and then give or take about 30 minutes with a pressure cooker. Okay, so we're going to take a short break, and we'll come back when it's done and show you what the bones look like and the finished product. Okay. We'll be right back on The Chef You and I right after these messages.